Hey everyone, Valerian here. Today I'm going to show you how to build a Telegram AI agent that is going to work as a Telegram bot and uh, that is going to generate a custom song for any kind of event based on the information that you provide about the person whom you want to celebrate, let's say, with the birthday. Um, I was playing around with some music APIs and I just wanted to kind of mix these two things together, but this is going to be a very beginner-friendly uh, tutorial where I'm going to walk you through the whole process of building the NA10 backend uh, for your Telegram bot and we will see how it works. Let's get started. Uh, this is what you are going to get in the end of this tutorial, so it's very simple workflow. This first node that we need is Telegram trigger node. Luckily, NA10 has the Telegram node and it has multiple triggers available. We are going to choose the message trigger, which is the standard one. Here we need to add the credentials. To get the credentials, you need to open Telegram, find this uh, bot father bot, click start, and then you will need to create new bot over here and find some name for this bot, let's say uh, like this. Okay, finally I found the name that is not taken. In Telegram to test something you actually need to create another bot and use a different bot token to test things. So if you are building something production ready you will need one that is live and another one which is the exact copy but with the test credential and switch between them in NA10 to test your new workflows. Okay, so what we have here we have this API token and that's everything that you need to, <coughs> uh, to do it. So I'm going to add new credential. I would add this access token over here, click save. Let's, let's find this new uh, bot that we created. You can find it already in Telegram. It exists as soon as you get the credentials from Botfather. Now we need to, um, basically what is happening in the bot, typically somebody click starts, this person needs to get the information about the bot, what it does, and then there can be other commands available. We're going to do a very simple switch node here on NA10, which will help us to um, distinguish between the commands or messages that the client says, that the user sends. This is not something special for Telegram, it is also treated as a message on the backend side. So let's do a quick test here. We are going to test this workflow. And we can see that this message start actually was received. So we can add this message to the switch node. Switch node would be essentially a rotor between three different options. It will help us to understand which branch to use in our workflow. For the first option here, we're going to reply to the start command that the user can send. We will find this text over here and we will say that it is equal to start. Okay, we will rename the output to start. Then we will also have another command that will be named create and we also do the same thing here and call it create and rename the output and we will add another routing rule. We will just r write something random here and here we will select fallback output. So we are choosing this new output as a fallback. I will show in a minute why is that. So if the user sends us start command then we want to respond with telegram text message. We, we, we just want to send something like hey this bot allows you to prepare AI generated rap song for your friends. To respond you need two things chat ID and text. Ch text would be something rap songs for your friends. Provide use create commands to stop. We will find uh, the chat ID. This is the only thing that needs to be here. We will find it over here and we will drag it here. So <clears throat> let's test it. We will send the start command again and see what happens. Okay, as you can see it responded here. So this works. To remove the NA10 attribution, you, this link over here, you can use this add field, select append NA10 attribution and disable it. This works the same way for 
many other nodes in NA10 actually helps you to debug things so you can click and get to the workflow that actually triggered this message. When you have multiple workflows, this actually helps you to identify which one was the case of this message. But in our case, we just want to, uh, to remove it. Now we're going to do the exactly same thing here. I will just copy and paste this node. I will connect it here. And I want it to answer to the create command. We need to test the workflow. Okay, so it responds. The interesting part here, so we actually want to generate the rap song. We are going to use the AI agent node. The AI agent has three things. I already explained it in my other videos, but quick recap. Uh, we need to select the chat model and we're going to use OpenAI, OpenAI GPT 4.0 Mini. Uh, we are going to attach the simple memory because we need the agent to be aware of the previous message. We want it to know what you previously asked, what was your conversation about, so it remembers, for example, that it generated a song and then you asked it to change something. So it needs to remember the previous version and what you're asking for. Um, for the AI agent, to start off, th the default connection is that it expects the chat node to be connected. We don't have the chat node, we have Telegram, so we need to define below the prompt that it will get from the user. To do so, we are going to Telegram trigger node and we also pull the text over here. It will take the text that was sent to Telegram and it will work with it. Now, the second thing is with, with the simple memory. Simple memory has only one param here, which is the key. By default, it is also related to the chat node, which is the default kind of node connected with AI agent, but we have another identifier and our unique identifier is the chat ID, the ID of this exact chat of my account with this bot account. So I also drag it from the first node of my workflow. Now I need to provide a system prompt. Typically I use ChatGPT to generate to, to generate prompts for simple things like that. Let's just go to ChatGPT and ask it something like this. Right, so I created this simple description here. I'm asking ChatGPT to create the prompt. I still provide it with instructions. I say, okay, I'm using NA10 plus Telegram. I'm creating the rev generation bot. Uh, come up with the AI agent system prompt. It needs to generate uh, lyrics. Ask for personal approval. Uh, and use another tool, which I will mention later, that will be used for the actual music generation. And then it needs to send the message to the user when it generates the music that, okay, we're working on your song and it will take up to 20 seconds to get ready. So let's see what the prompt will be. Obviously for production ready products, you need to carefully read this to understand what is going on, to write your own prompt, to use some techniques, but this can be just copy and paste it for the sake of this tutorial. So we go to AI, AI agent, we uh, add the system message here, and we just paste the prompt that ChatGPT generated here. Second one will be music generation tool, and this is something that we're going to use. Uh, we will use an HTTP request tool for this part. Just try to generate something. For now, it will not respond to Telegram, but we will test our workflow here, and let's send something like this. Let's see what happens. It sends the request. You can see the AI agent works on it and it actually has some output. It generated some lyrics over here and it asks for the approval and if I approve them it will use the tool which is currently deactivated but it will know that it needs to use the tool because it is instructed with the prompt. So it will use this tool to send and generate the song. Finally, after this AI agent, we're going to add another Telegram node to send this response. It will also be a text message node. In this node, we're going to use the same chat ID as always. And the text will be the output that the model provides. We can test this workflow again, send again, and we should see this response in the Telegram app. Here it is. It asks me 
for the approval. It sends me the lyrics, well formatted, looks nice. Final thing, I want to generate the song, right? I don't want it just to be the lyrics. To generate the song, I have found this. To generate the music, I have found the Suno AI uh, application. There is some tricky thing with the API because when I browse the Suno AI website, I don't really see the, the A API here. Maybe I didn't find it. I'm not completely sure that it is run by the same company, but the results are good. I'm using this, uh, this service and I use this documentation to get the API access. To connect Suno, obviously there is no node in NHN that is ready to do this, but we can easily do this with HTTP request node, which I already created here. I created as a tool. You need to go to docs.sunoapi.org and here you have this generate music endpoint. You can just copy the CURL from this and go to your NHN workflow and go to the HTTP request tool. Use this import CURL, paste it here and import it. You can see that it requires the bearer token authorization Go to the API, take the key, copy, and paste it over here. Now go to the params, and here you can see that we have the prompt. Turn the instrumental to false, because in our case we need uh, lyrics. And I will change the model to 4 underscore 5, it's the latest model and it works better. And for the callback URL we will update it in a second main thing here that I forgot is that the prompt should be actually the lyrics. So we will just drag the lyrics over here. Finally, let's update this callback URL value. This we will need another workflow that we will call get the song. The API works the following way. We send a request to generate the song. It is generated and then it will use this callback URL to send us back the information about the generated song, like the URL of the media file, of the mp3 file, um, and it will send you two versions of the song. We want our workflow to catch it and to send these updates to the same Telegram chat. To do so, we will just create a webhook node. As you can see, it is sent with the posts method, so you need to create the webhook that is using the posts method. That and we want to create a telegram message node. We don't really know what will be here. So let's give our workflow a full test and see what happens. What we want to do here is we want to change to get this webhook URL. We copy it, we paste it to our first workflow in the callback URL param. And there is one thing that we need to have here. We want to know which chat this callback is actually for. We will pass the chat ID directly in this URL. So we just add the question mark after the webhook node. We add our own variable that we'll call chat ID. And we add this as an expression. We can just chat ID over here. Now with this chat ID, when the Suno API gets the request, generates the song, and then you know, triggers this webhook and sends the updates to our callback URL, it will always pass the chat ID. So we can catch this chat ID and we can use it to send the message in the right chat. We'll test this workflow here. We can say that song approved. We will disconnect and deactivate the Telegram node for now. So we just want to test the webhook only to see what is coming from Suno. Now let's say song approve and see what happens. We can see that it didn't use the tool. Let's figure out why. Most probably because it doesn't really understand that it is the right tool. We called it music generation tool here and here we didn't really call it the same way. So let's rename it. Let's also update the description here and here. As you can see, this will also work incorrectly because right now it will send the output here and we don't want it to send the output otherwise it will generate the song with this text. What we want to do here is we want to use the from AI method which tells the model 
we what needs to be sent here and we will call it song lyrics this should be enough for the model to understand what is actually required and send the right thing to this tool let's try it one more time you can see it called the music generation tool let's see what it what it's had here yeah you can see that it created this program called song lyrics and it sent it here now we are going to this workflow which is still waiting for this trigger instead of adding the chat id here i added as you can see it's message text and uh, that actually made the whole url incorrect so the callback didn't work let's go back here let's copy the right thing over here let's say from from the simple memory node where we use the chat id now we'll go to this tool we will update this part over here now it should work but we need to regenerate it again just the workflow here it comes up with lyrics we approve it will hit your url several times not once it will send a new callback uh, request every time it generates a new version of the song there are two versions and also there is downloadable and streaming version of each of them so it will update it a few times uh, we don't really currently think about it we just want to send the message directly to telegram as soon as something is ready nothing was wrong with the params but it was just not the callback url because any time just didn't show the request so i had to reboot the whole thing and resave it and it worked so i used this pin uh, on the node as soon as you get some information you can use it right now I, you can see it says unpin here but originally it says pin so you can kind of pin the data that you already have in that node once you get it so you don't want it to uh, resend it every single time and it's a good thing to have because we don't really need to uh, to um, for for the testing purposes I don't want to generate the song and spend credits every time I want to test this so I, I want to pin the data here and you can see what actually was passed to me and you can see that there, there are two sets of uh, the same fields for two of the songs being generated and also the chat ID sent here in the query so it is sent in a query string because I added it after the question mark to the URL and it will be seen like this here what I'm doing here on the telegram node I'm using this JSON query chat ID here I drag and drop it from the query over here data from those two items to send the information about the generated song I'm using this stream audio URL and source audio URL twice for the item number one and for the item number zero and as soon as they appear in the payload this links will become active if it's not there it will just be an inactive link and that's it right now let's give it a try create then let's send something like Mike the years has a dog works in a hospital save lives likes um, swimming and baseball even played in high school okay we have a production workflow now so it just works we got the lyrics moved to executions find the generate song executions and see how it works that we're generating the song so let's wait but you can see that here we have this so it got approved and it saw it sent the request to the music generation tool you can see we already got the response now let's listen to this song that we have and see you in the next episodes bye yo here's a rap for mike let's ignite he's sturdy and thriving always ready to fight a hero in scrubs working in a hospital space saving lives daily keeping up the pace with a pup by his side they cruising through the park throwing that ball chasing dreams till it's dark loves to swim in the pool making waves feeling bold and when it comes to baseball he's got stories he untold back in high school he played with flair hit homers on the field gave it all his care so here's to you mike keep doing your thing a life full of joy let the happiness ring